A few people reached out, they wanted to get some advice on prepping for working with a dating coach. They were gonna have their first session. They are completely new to the idea of doing day game or doing street approaching. And they reached out to me and asked me for uh, a couple of tips to help them with getting started or to at least be able to prepare with going out and talking to people. So I sat down, I had a thing I wrote down five points that I think uh, are going to be really useful for you to certainly just keep that anxiety at bay not necessarily get rid of the anxiety but certainly just to have you get the most out of your day game session with your dating coach that you've gone to so whether you're in London whether you are somewhere else out in the world hopefully this will help you out but this video is ideally for the uh the guys who are just getting started and they are having their first ever uh session with a dating coach so my first tip for you is going to be to just draw dress smartly and groom yourself before you leave the house. So for me, first impressions certainly matter. And I think you will find with every woman that you end up stopping to talk to, that is going to be the case also. It is about making sure that you are presenting yourself in a way that looks attractive, you look independent, and most certainly you look confident. If you're going out wearing a tracksuit, Yes, you might have just come from the gym or go into the gym or whatever, but the most likely scenario is that women are going to run a mile. They are going to be absolutely petrified if you do come across a little bit too intimidating. But does that mean then that you need to be going out wearing a suit or whatever? Absolutely not. But it is about making sure that you just dress at a level or standard that is gonna be presentable for people. So I actually like wearing smart fitted jeans. Uh, I kind of like wearing, you know, these sort of like loose fitted shirts with a t-shirt underneath. Um, and uh, you know, that looks smart. Uh, certainly I'll groom myself. I'll make sure that I'm nicely shaven. I've showered and stuff before I come out. I've got nice cologne on. Again, all these little things can matter and certainly anyone Woman will notice these and if you are looking for um, uh, women to date and have relationships with in particular then it is about making sure that you are dressing in a way that is also going to be uh, appealing to that woman as well so that would be my point number one that certainly if you want to make a really great first impression then you need to be dressing appropriately when you are leaving and also dressing especially feet wise uh, dressing in shoes that are smart but you are comfortable with walking around because trust me when I say that I've met many coaches and many guys who have earned themselves blisters and achy feet by not wearing appropriate shoes. My second tip for you is to consider using any sort of coping mechanism to keep your anxiety at bay. So what, what do I mean by this? Well, if you're someone who likes to do meditations or listen to music maybe to help you to stay calm and relaxed, that is what I would recommend that you listen to before you end up going out. Um, sorry, my cat was there looking to jump up in front of the camera here. Um, now, it's important to just be aware that, you know, when you are going to be talking to people, you're going to be in a social environment that you are certainly not used to. And your anxiety is going to go up no matter what. No matter what anyone says, you are going to get anxious when you go out and talk to people, especially people that you are attracted to and in an environment where it would not be considered a social norm to talk to strangers. So all you can do is just try and manage your anxiety. Just try and keep it at bay or as low as possible because then at least when you get to the dating coach they will be there to support you and help you to manage your anxiety but also when you do start talking to women and you get into that flow state suddenly your anxiety is gonna be so much more manageable and it's gonna deplete as well. As long as you're not putting yourself in crazy situations, which, okay, a dating coach will certainly push you into in time, but at the start, 
they will help you to manage your expectations and help you to just manage that anxiety. But I find that certainly doing like breathing exercises, meditating, listening to calming music, closing your eyes and breathing and just grounding yourself can be all the things that can make a difference to you at least uh, being able to stand there in front of of the dating coach and be prepped and ready to go and talk to people as opposed to being absolutely petrified by that moment that you do get to that same point. So it's just really trying to keep that anxiety from being maybe like a seven or eight out of 10 and just at least keeping it at maybe like a three or a four. So tip number three is that I want you to put plenty of fuel in your body to handle the energy that you're going to need for your session. So make sure that you had a really healthy and uh, fulfilling meal and also don't let yourself be dehydrated. Make sure that you have plenty of water because what a lot of men don't consider when they're going out, especially if it's their first session, is that your body, especially when it is uh, using a lot more cognitive energy, when you're walking around, you're certainly doing a lot of cardio, that you are essentially doing a workout in your session. Even if it's just a couple of hours, rather than like a full day or a full weekend, you are still doing a pretty intense workout. So by having a lot of fuel in your body, you're going to be able to manage that anxiety and you're going to have the energy for your conversations and interactions. I've seen it plenty of times where if guys haven't had enough to eat or drink, um, they burn out so much faster and they're just absolutely exhausted. And then it's almost impossible for them to actually think about having a conversation or have an actual conversation with women because they're just in burnout mode. They're ready to just sit down, relax, and probably even have a sleep as well. So make sure that you are having plenty of food and stuff with you uh, or inside you, as well as make sure that you've got like an energy bar or a drink of water, a bottle of water with you as well. So at least then you can also manage your energy throughout your session or throughout the day. Number four is that I want you to warm up socially. The best thing that you can do, rather than just waiting until you end up seeing the dating coach, warm yourself up by talking to strangers before that session. Now, by doing so, getting yourself that little bit more, uh, uh, it, developing that fluid intelligence, you're going to find it even easier and more warmed up to actually think about what you're going to say very um, organically and naturally in any conversation. It's like if you end up waking up in the morning, if you try and have a conversation with someone straight away, your brain's just a bit sticky. It's just a bit like blah, 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 you know, or maybe not like that, but it's, you know what I mean. Um, but if you are at least, you know, going up to people, maybe even just doing the simple thing of asking for directions, giving people a compliment, almost assuming stuff from people saying like, are you here for that, that, that party thing? Or are you here for that group thing um, or, or this tour, you know, which is a little bit more social freedom based, but even that can just warm you up, make you a little bit more silly or just, you know, get you more in the mood to actually talk to strangers. And that's all you need to do. Just warm yourself up into it so that the moment you are meeting that dating coach and they start taking you around and they start getting you into interactions with women, then they can already start giving you better advice and also not waste your time and their time by having to warm you up. So the better you can warm yourself up beforehand, then the better that you will do in that session. So something that you could consider is heading into town maybe about an hour or two earlier than what you've got scheduled with that dating coach. And then you can optimize your time that way. You can go at your own pace. You can talk to people. You can ask questions, whatever you want. But again, it just warms you up into that interaction from where the dating coach will push you to get the best results possible. Uh, something else that you can even consider is just one other point is you could end up getting out of the, uh, the train station a few stops earlier than what you're meant to be doing uh, for where you are going to go and meet that dating coach and obviously giving yourself time, but walk to the location then where you're going 
going to meet the dating coach and force yourself to warm up that way with talking to strangers. So don't get out somewhere that's like half an hour away, but certainly just get out somewhere that's maybe just like 15 minutes walk away from where the dating coach is going to be, where you're going to meet them for your session and just talk to a couple of people. It doesn't even have to be loads. It doesn't have to be dozens, but just like two or three people. If you can give yourself that challenge, I promise you that will make all the difference for when you do work with that dating coach. And lastly, for tip number five, this one is a bit more of a mindset to uh, uh, adopt, especially if this is your first time going out, is that just to accept that your first approaches do not matter. You are very new to this. Don't put your expectations high. Don't think, oh my God, I'm go I have to be getting phone numbers. I have to be going on dates straight away. Everyone is at very different levels and depending on what kind of social environment they have grown up in, what kind of lifestyle that they have, some people are a lot more shy than others and that is absolutely okay. But just be willing to accept or adopt the idea that, you know what, these first approaches, they are going to be absolutely awful or they might be horrifying for me. I'm going to be so scared to do them, but you know what? That's okay because these first approaches don't matter. What does matter is what happens you know, during the dating coaching session or after it, what happens in days time, in weeks time, in months time, if I am continuously practicing my social skills and developing my confidence. And you know what, when you get to that point, it might feel far-fetched now, but when you do get to that point, you will look back on these first sessions or this first session that you've had with the dating coach and you'll be like, wow, I can't believe that I was so scared to um, go and talk to people that actually it really wasn't that bad. So just bear in mind that you haven't got that more um, uh, abundant mindset yet, but that's okay because it will develop in time. A dating coach will help you with that. But don't worry about your first lot of approaches. Everyone was horrifically bad at the start. And trust me when I say, when I've spent my time with 80 plus dating coaches, they were all horrifically bad at some point or another. And especially even the ones that started their dating coach business and I was there at the start to support them. The amount of guys that were so shy with talking in front of the camera, let alone maybe, you know, they were still finding their way with talking to women on the street. They were trying to find their own way of doing things, of being able to then teach people as well. Um, they, we were all, we were all um, in a difficult position at the start. So those are my five tips for any beginner if you're going to be working with a dating coach. So just as a recap, First of all, dress smartly and make sure you're well-groomed because first impressions matter. Second tip is that use your coping mechanisms to help you keep your anxiety at bay. So do breathing exercises, listen to relaxing music, close your eyes, ground yourself, but just try and keep that anxiety low because at least then the dating coach will help you with the rest. Point number three or tip number three was make sure that you get plenty of fuel in your body so you're not going to dehydrate, you're not going to burn out. Point number four or tip number four, um, make sure that you can try and warm up socially. So if you want to get the most out of your session, just practice or give yourself enough time before the actual session to just ask people for directions, give people compliments and just warm yourself up socially. And tip number five is just adopt the mindset that your first approaches are going to be awful and that is absolutely okay. Just accept the responsibility that you're not confident yet, 
but you will be as long as you keep practicing and you take on the dating coach's advice and consider where your life could be in weeks or months time. So thank you very much for watching. If you can, please, because it really helps me out, like the, uh, the video, subscribe to the channel. I want to be able to help more men manage their expectations with getting involved in the dating industry and certainly working on their dating lives. And I can only do that with your help and support by subscribing and certainly commenting on on the videos as well. And if you are finding that you are still struggling with your anxiety, I also offer life coaching sessions, particularly people who want to manage their expectations with dating and really want to get the best results from working with a dating coach, as well as I offer integral eye movement therapy services that can help you to overcome any past traumas that you've got with your anxiety that can help you get better results with talking to people or overcome whatever boundaries or limiting beliefs you've got that may be stopping you from talking to people because we've all got traumas in our lives but unfortunately some people do let it get the better of them so reach out to me if you want but other than that subscribe to the channel and uh, thank you very much for watching this too